What's going on YouTube? It's Mellow Deer Fest coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fave five players for tonight's nine game main slate. Today is the 11th of January. Hope everybody's having an amazing day to start off their weekend. Please give a smash on this play. Please also subscribe and if you don't mind, please press the bell icon to get notified for future videos and either comments or updates on the post. Let's jump into it. Going to point guard. Take a look at we we'll go to Eric Bledsoe. Now he he will be playing. Giannis is out, so definitely gonna take a look at him. What will have definitely have great uses in this play. Is a 6.5 favor against Washington in this play. So definitely gonna take a look at him. Now let's go back to it. Sorry about that. Now he's averaging 43.8 fantasy points in the past four games at Washington in the past three years. So this guy is definitely balling against them in his history at Washington. Washington's allowing an average 42 fantasy points when the underdog, giving up about 39 fantasy points when at home. So I'm gonna take a look at Blesso in a great play. 6100 on DraftKings, 67. So it's a steal. Knowing that Giannis is out, plug him in in your lineups. All right. Now going into our shooting guard, gotta go and plug in James Harden. Now he's 12-5 uh, in this matchup against Cleveland. But look, this guy's been balling recently. I think he might break the slate tonight in this play. He will be 12-600 on FanDuel. But look, he's going to be balling against them. He's averaging 80 fantasy points in the past two games at home versus Cleveland in the past two years. Averaging 70.4 fantasy points when favored. Averaging around 39 points a game. 8 rebounds, 11 assists a game. Uh, getting about 40 minutes a game with the crazy 1.81 fantasy points per minute on the court. You do the math. Man, this guy could definitely give about 90, uh, maybe 100. <laughs> Who knows, man? I mean, as you can see in this log, he had almost a 90 fantasy point game against the Warriors. I think that was an overtime game. But look, 80 on the Grizzlies, 71 on the Pelicans, 70 on the Bucks. just a few, uh, two days ago. So look at him to break the slate in this play. He plays even though they go blow out, he still plays. So look at James Harden in the number two spot. Now going to the small forward, I'm going to look at, let's go down to Thaddeus Young. Also, you have Miles Turner out. He's going to be balling. It's a 3.2 fantasy point uh, positive differential in this play. Averaging 34.8 fantasy points in the past five games against the Knicks. Last game at the um, Madison Square Garden. That was October 31st. He had 45 fantasy points in 34 minutes. He was 5 from 10 from the field with 10 rebounds. The Knicks is allowing an average 38 point, uh, fantasy points to start in the power four as a game and when underdog. So in this play, is an 8.5 favor against the Knicks in this play. And they also give him about 34.6 fantasy points when at home. So look at that. He's going to go in with a crazy price. 5600 on DraftKings. You're talking about 25 value. He will definitely beat that. I wouldn't be surprised if he get a 45 again in this play. Let's take a look at him in this matchup. All right, now we'll go with his right hand man. Let's go to power forward spot. Sorry about that. Power forward spot. Let's go down to some bonus. This guy's 7,500. He's 77 on FanDuel in a great spot. Like I said, Miles turns out he should be balling. He's averaging around 30.8 minutes a game in the past four games. New York's allowing an average 40.9 fantasy points in the past five games to starting center positions. He's averaging around 38.6 fantasy points win away. Turner's out bumping the usage once again. The Knicks is allowing an average 37.4 fantasy points to opposing starting centers. And around 39.2 fantasy points win underdog. So definitely we'll take a look at the bonus and a great play and a great saving spot. I mean, talking about 35, he could get about 40 in this play. So a great price in both platforms. All right. Now, also the number five spot. Let's go down to a PJ Tucker. As you can see in the past three games, uh, in 
minutes, 43, 37, 33 minutes a game. You know, last two games, 33, 38 face points. Still at a cheap price, 4,700. Um, talking about 5,000 on fa uh, FanDuel. PJ Tucker's in a great spot today. He's averaging uh, 26.4 uh, face points in three big favorable games. You're talking about a 14 favor, a 14 point favor uh, uh, against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, Cleveland's allowing an average 31.4 face points to opposing power forwards. Game giving about 30.2 fans points when an underdog. It's averaging around 37 minutes a game in the past five games. It's averaging 32.5 fans points in the past two games at home versus Cleveland. All right, the last game, and that was 2016 uh, when he was at home. He had a 46 minute game with 41 fans points at home against Cleveland. Now, you're talking about the differential in this game 14 point favor. If it's a blowout, man, he still can be on the court generating some uh face points so 47 is pretty cheap talking about 40 20 20 22 for value i'm looking at him get hopefully 35 40 again in this play if they blow him out so take a look at peter tucker man so it's a great spot if you want to get some savings that um, you have um party in your spot take a look at pj tucker y'all that's my fave five all right we have eric bledsoe uh, James Harden, Thaddeus Young, PJ Tucker, and, and some bonus. Now we got some other plays you could plug in. Go to point guard. You can also go to um, you go to uh, let's see. We got Brogdon, a great play against Washington, 5700 steal. Jeremy Lin, TJ McConnell is also burning up, man. So you definitely get some run. But I'm looking at Derrick Rose. You can look at him in a great spot today. Averaging 40.4 fans points in seven close games. All right. He had a 47 fans point game versus Dallas. That was in 32 minutes. This is a five point favor against Dallas today. The up paced game. And talking about a 14.5 favor in this play. So take a look at him in this matchup. He's in a great spot. Dallas is allowing an average. Uh, 32.9 phase points to opposing shooting guards. So, look at him in a great spot tonight. All right, Derrick Rose in a great play. He also got like a Noah Bonley. Let's go to him as well. Just want to give you some more bonus plays. All right, let's go to Noah Bonley. Has an 8.5 uh, underdog. All right, but take a look at him as well. Find him. There you go, no violent 5800. He's in a good spot as well. He's having uh he had a 42 phase point game in 33 minutes last game at home versus uh the Pacers. Alright, he's averaging around they give it up about uh, 15 points a game, 8.6 rebounds to opposing power forwards. And giving about 31.6 fantasy points went away. So finally, is averaging around 29 fantasy points. Went underdog, getting about 10 rebounds a game in the past five games. Look at Noah Vonley as well. But yo, that's my fave five with some great plays as well to add into your lineups. If you like my plays, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lineup, feel free to comment below. Check out the draft dashboard tools in the link in my description to sign up now. It's 30 days for a dollar. As you can see, you have access to all the um, all the plays. Also, for saving research time, you have access to your uh, NBA cheat sheet that gives you breakdown your top tiers best plays of the slate studs mid-range even got the value plays so definitely want to take a look at that also when you click on my link you have access to my player pool click the watch players list you have access to my plays watch the my those DFS picks all right you can switch to either DraftKings or FanDuel all right so we're making change on this on this platform daily so definitely want to take a look we have NFL for the divisional games coming up soon so check out my video on that all right and love y'all yeah collect that bag it's Melo DFS y'all stay blessed talk to you in the next video